Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'll be going over two games that I thought were very sweaty for me. Funny thing was they were back-to-back -back games, so that definitely made, uh, um, made the gameplay, at least when I was playing it at that time, a lot more sweaty than usual. But yeah, these two games, uh, a lot of it was, a lot of the game, uh, although you can't see the timer when we're in a replay, but both both me and my opponents in these two games essentially spent a lot of their um, the timer in the first couple turns by just uh, trying to figure out where to position. So I thought it would be good to just record and review and see what went wrong. And what went good, I guess. Okay, let's take a look. So Lana with AoE, Ham with uh, Spirit Boots and the Annihilation, Maya with the 3C Ultra Purge, Ice Dragon Breath, and the Passive. Okay. What does Ares have? Okay, 3C and Faction Buff. 3C and Speed Boost. Okay. On my end, I have Virage with Backbreaker and 3C. Cairo with Gospel. Sherry with Shadow Raid. Pepsi with. I opted to bring Accelerated Aid this game. And Elwin with Force of Will. So let's just look at the. So Ben here definitely has the range advantage, I would say. But it's not like I don't have range either. You know, my Kyra has. reaches up to here. My Elwin is able to reach. Uh, one, two, three, four. here. These three blocks. And of course, my Sherry is always a threat. Virash is a, you know, a meat shield. But his ham is able to reach, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He brought teleport two. So the teleport actually gives his ham even more reach. But for now, with just the spirit boots, he can reach one, two, three, four, five. So his threat range is here. So a little bit more than me. He also has Ares, who can do his uh, teleport. So this is definitely, you know, scary because he can do a ham teleport and then I'm kind of screwed, right? And he has the Akaya speed boost. So I would definitely say he has the range, but I have more bruisers, or I guess hit, uh, long lasting hitters. Let's see what happens. So this is my Kyra range right now. I will not try to hit this because I don't think I can kill. Uh, I'm very skeptical of this being a kill, but it does extend my range nonetheless. So yeah, turn two, he moves his uh, Ares. Okay, so he teleports uh, Maya to safety. He gives Ham uh, that range. So now, what can Ham reach? He can't hit anyone with the... Well, okay, he can hit... He can drop the sword. Let's see. He can drop... How far is the sword? It's uh, three range. Okay. Wait, sorry. Two blocks. Okay, so he, he can't hit anyone with the sword yet, but he can one, two, three, four, five hit Virage. Of course, hitting into Virage is good for me because I have a lot of lives, right? So he's definitely not gonna make this trade. But at this point, I also have to realize he does have the Akaya speed boost. So his range is effectively one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with the teleport, definitely he can hit anybody on my team. So the question is, how do I, um, Decide who to die, kind of. So this is me just putting uh, Virage forward. He can, uh, so he can use the teleport and act again. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, wait. Let's see. So if he comes here, drops the sword, and then uh, teleports here, he can move two blocks, and then. So yes, he has an opening right now to kill my Elwin, but by killing Elwin, you know, you're probably get prone to one shot by a Sherry and Kyra can set up for next turn. But let's see what he does. Okay, so he doesn't, he decides not to go in with Ham right now. If he did decide to go with Ham, he actually could have killed my Elwin there, but let's see. Okay, so he gives the speed boost. Now, Now you can reach everybody, even without the teleport. Okay, I put Sherry to safety. Drops the black hole. 
He gets a dimensional jewel and the okay, so one turn. That's a good uh not bad RNG. What did I get? Passive block and um okay. Fixed damage. Okay, so the the reason why I did this is um kinda I just kinda just want to bo to body block. Um so my Elwin doesn't get hit. But uh, I think he can still reach my Elwin. If he really wanted to, but I don't think he will. Okay, so he decides to not go in on my Elwin. And I just move up. Okay, so he dropped his sword, which I think is not the worst choice, because he can technically still teleport here, right? Teleport onto Virage, sword is here, move two blocks, move within the five blocks, and hit, uh, you know, get one life off. But of course, I can just get rid of the heal reversal, right, by using my act again. Lana's reach is pretty far. Um, Heaven Sanction is basically seven blocks from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So barely out of range of Pepsi. Um, my Virage, I gave the Gospel to Virage. Sherry can't reach anyone. So he kills my Kyra. And gets a summon. And he blocks a Lana with the, uh, he blocks my Virash from hitting the Lana. I kill the Akaya and I go into uh, death mode. So the bad thing about Ham is the pass block. My Sherry no longer has the extra movement, so hit, her range is effectively kind of gimped. Okay, he retreats. I just move forward. Kills one more life. I give Accelerated Aid here, and I was hoping for a Tenuous proc, but it's okay. Because if I did get the Tenuous proc, I think, yeah. But nonetheless, not, not, not you know, just, bit, just waiting out. Okay. So I have Turn Pile. So next turn, I can always kill someone, and there's no way his Lana can one-shot my Elwin, right? So uh, there's always somebody that I can kill next turn. So the question is, who do I kill? I wanna kill, so I was think uh, thinking of killing the ham. However, I wasn't that sure if I kill it. I think it's a kill. However, ham is, you know, I can one shot ham. I can one shot Sherry. I can one shot ham with Sherry and ham potentially. Ares does have the revive. So that requires me to hit twice. This is my reasoning for hitting into killing off uh, the Ares. Because I, I didn't want to have to hit him twice to kill him. So yeah. He gets rid of my... Um, he gets rid of my first life. So my Elwin's dead here, pretty much. Black hole. And the passive block again. So my Sherry is again gimped. Uh, yeah, can't reach. Try to give us an aid. So this was pretty, pretty tough. The, you know, they say that Maya is a Pepsi counter. Yeah, so I, I get, uh, I get all the debuffs removed. And I mean, I get all the buffs removed and I get a uh, pretty, 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 you know, pretty, pretty bad debuffs. Cannot be buffed. That is very bad. At least I didn't get silenced. So, because silence would have been pretty bad too. But cannot be debuffed is also pretty bad. My Virage still has one life left. And how many turns? Three turns. Okay. His ham still has his teleport, but he can't reach. Uh... Well, okay, he could. Well, now he can reach. But if I didn't move my uh, Virash here, he could technically teleport and reach. Um, well, I killed a sword, so he can't really do the act to get on the teleport. So, yeah. Miles still has two AoE. I mean, one AoE. My Sherry still has her skills, and Pepsi is not able to do much because the you know no pa no faction buff right, so can't attack. His ham, actually, his ham can hit my Sherry because uh, if he teleports, you know, despair is within two blocks, so he can actually act again. I think this is what he does, and he tries to kill the Sherry with uh, no attack skill. This was close. This was very close. Good thing I uh, was wearing some uh, slightly tankier armor. 
Okay, so this barely misses the kill, but it's okay. I stun a... Uh... So I am not wearing exclusive. I might switch to exclusive now, but I don't get the stun off, which is sad. Drops another black hole. So I don't have any lives left. I have to try to kill. And so yeah, it's a Pepsi 3v1 time. I did get rid of the unbuffable, so that's good. Drops Ice Breath. Good thing I still Ice Breath, good thing it's only minus one. I kill. And zombies OP, I heal. He strips my uh, one buff, but I live. So <laughs> zombies are very OP. Get the faction buff up. At this point in time, his Lana does not have a... Well, the AoE will come up next turn. But I can kill the Lana easily. And now it's just a 1v1. The... The Maya does not have uh, any skills, so this should be pretty a pretty easy uh, game. Yeah, but yeah, very intense Pepsi solo show, and okay, on to the next game against SCL. So this game, I was I would say luck was indeed on my side, but I did not capitalize. I made a crucial mistake. And uh, let's see if you guys can figure out which mistake I... Well, I I'll say the mistake that I made, but let's see if you can figure out um, the mistake that I made when uh, it happens and before I say the mistake. Okay, so Die Hard with a uh, sneak attack. 3C, act again. Autocrado, double AoE. Crisp, standard. Uh, Sissy Y, this is pretty standard, Spire and uh, Business Strategy. Ham with a Teleport and Annihilation. This looks like a Full Moon Ham, pretty high attack with Spirit Boots. Uh, Vera standard, uh, Himiko with Push, Pepsi with Accelerated Aid, Elwin standard with Crush, Luke with uh, AoE and Single Target. So again, this is a game of counting tiles, like just like last time. This is most likely autocrawled with Balance Blade, so that itself is 7 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so right here. You know, Ham did not bring Gargs, but, you know, the Teleport is still range. There's still pretty big range with the, the, uh, with the Werewolves. Die Hard has a... D Hard, Die Hard has a 3 block move and 2 range, so... So my strategy this game was kind of, okay, let me push Himiko and Viras forward first and let's see if anything can happen. This was actually a bad, uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, uh, you'll see, but this is actually, I realized later on that this is a bad position. Uh, you'll see why. But putting the golem on the furthest, uh, furthest column. So he's slowly pushing up. Well, I want to say slowly, he's kind of aggressively pushing up. I get the Lucky Breeze. This is perfect, because uh, if he doesn't move his Virage here, I can do... Uh, my plan was to hopefully back break and flip Chris out of guard range. Uh, Autocrado's range is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so here. Okay, so the reason I move up here is, uh, you know, Die Hard can choose to attack and stun, but that is, uh, I can live with that. Okay, so he moves his Chris. After he moves his Chris, I flip. So this forces him to, you know, my Elwin can kill the Die Hard. So he has to move Die Hard. So he kills one life. Uh, I think he stuns my Virage too. Well, kills two more lives. And uh, is this, yeah, Arcane Battle card. So, and he stuns. 
Okay, so I get lucky too. Okay, so he kills another life. I get lucky with the breeze proc. So this is the mistake. I put my uh, golem here. You'll see why this is the mistake in a bit. Well, okay, let me rewind. Sorry, sorry. This was the mistake here, actually. So I gave, uh, er, in the last turn, Epsilon gave uh, Luke the, the accelerated aid, right? So by putting my, so, okay. If I were to swap with Luke right now, right? Luke can get swapped here. Her range is four plus, so I'm using Scepter, so four plus five. So you can move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Or he can drop, she can drop black hole. The issue is, if I do the swap right now, I actually swap into the fog and I sack, I kill my uh, summon. So this was actually a bad move for me. Never put the summon on the uh, first, uh, the lot, well, the, I guess the furthest away uh, row. That's something to know. But I do get lucky and I do get the, the breach proc. Go in with the first AoE. So Overlord Badge. I get the Lucky Clock too, so that's very nice. So this is uh, Pepsi's range. Kills the last live, gets rid of my, uh, let's see. He gets rid of, uh, he does passive block. Uh, what does passive block do here? Well, okay, he didn't, okay, that's good. He didn't actually, uh, I didn't, I got lucky. Oh, okay, no, I did get reduced the uh, range. So I don't have as much range. But I can technically still, uh, let's see. So one, two, three. One, two, three. No, I can still hit uh, Chris if I really wanted to. So that wasn't that bad. But the stun. See, the stun is a pretty big key here. I've been losing to uh, SCL's Die Hard a lot, but the stun is very important. I pre I clock my Hemi kill right, but I can I can no longer uh, fire off the second AOE. Uh, this Elwin move, I didn't actually move this. The timer ran out. My timer ran out and it auto moved. To be fair, this was actually the best move. Surprising enough, enough. It's it, it it was the move to make. Why? Because passive disable makes him decide. Okay. Do I want to heal or lose a die hard potentially? So he moves. Okay. And now, okay, this is where I target. I get to get a free hit. I strip the guard and it has passive down. What can my Luke reach? I got Breeze. So technically, my Luke has. Hmm. Could I even reach? Hold up. I am passive blocked. So I decide to hit, wait, hold up, I'm confused. Oh, okay, so the summon got rid of the passive block, right? Let's see. Okay, so the summon got rid of the passive block and now my Luke has full range. So I can hit everybody here and kill everybody here, actually. Well, Sissy White might be a little sus, but I can kill Autocrado, I can kill Ham. I can kill Die Hard, and who do I decide to hit? I decide to hit Chris. Although I do kill, I don't think this was the right kill, and I think uh, later on SEO also mentioned to me that it was not the right kill. I should have targeted Ham or Autocrado. I think Ham would have been the best hit person to hit, or even Autocrado, because of the, you know, the heal block. But Ham himself, is able to disable my Elwin. So I think, honestly, killing Ham here should have been the move. And for sure, I think this this is definitely a kill on Ham. He is on Forest Tile, but I do have Holy and Firebrand Sniper, uh, uh, what is it? Firebrand Sniper uh, to to hit into the Ham. And he's uh, the werewolves are broken, so there's no last right. So this should definitely be a kill if I do decide to kill Ham. So yeah, this uh, kind of messed me up. 
I would say. And yeah, kind of GG. Started uh started to started to fumble the bag as they speak. And yeah, pretty much over at this point. Um, this is this is very sad. I didn't I forgot about the sword. The, the sword gets like a ten percent damage reduction. Yeah, <laughs> hitting tick five hundred ticks. Well, I to be fair, uh, let's see. Oh, I only have one stack. Wait, why do I only have one stack? Did I not bring the three C? Hold up. Oh, because I got passive blocks, so I couldn't get stacks. Okay, that's why I hit like <laughs> hit like a pillow. But yeah, the crucial mistake here was not hitting the right opponent. I was too fixated on tank busting. When, to, to be honest, I can kill Sissy. Sissy has a... I can kill Sissy, I can kill Ham. This El this Chris... I mean, this, uh, this Chris is dead next turn, actually, against Elwyn. Uh, do I have turn prowl here? I also have... Uh, okay, no, I, I won't have turn prowl if I kill Ham. But... The diehard won't be able to hit any. Well, I guess he can hit the, the summit, but yeah, if I kill Ham, my Elwin should be able to finish off the Chris next turn. Uh, actually, no, the Lancer has guard. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think you know outcome might have been different had I killed him or him. So yeah, but good game though. Good uh, good game indeed. Very sweaty games, but I guess these are the games that make you think more, and you learn more. You can't see the timer, but like both, I think both of those are down to like ten seconds back up. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, stay tuned for um, uh, Grenier and Shibaraku, aka the Hippo video that I will be dropping soon. Uh, until next time, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and see ya.